Good morning, tubers. Welcome back for another adventure. I had one of my Pennsylvania odysseys over the weekend, you know, hit various flea markets and so forth. And just a quick run of what I managed to find. First of all, you can see, obviously, I saw the guy who saw, sells the um, stuff from China. Now, he's not replacing his stock of this stuff, so I figured I'd better pick up another few carburetors. I get them for 10 bucks each. These are PZ27s. So you're looking at the first 50 bucks of the deal. Um, he gets uh, 5 bucks each for these lights. And I picked up two before and I liked them, so I picked up two more. Now, there are 72 LEDs on this strip. And half of them are white light and half of them are more of an amber, you know, like warning light color. And um, you can turn them on separately and dim them and so forth with the switch if that's functioning. Um, some of them are a little defective, the switch is, um, but the lights work beautifully. So I picked up a couple of those, they're five bucks each. Then I picked up these cables uh, from him, a choke cable. And this is throttle cable, a one into two, with the thing in the center and the whole shoot match. Anyway, this was a $75 deal. And my big push on this deal was, once again, I don't know how much longer he's going to be there, how much more access I'm going to have to those carburetors. And quite honestly, if I went there next weekend, I would buy five more because I use a lot of these PZ27s. The next let's call it big item of the deal I got this bumper push bar headache rack whatever you want to call it and it came with two of these Gautier uh, lights Gauti lights um, and they work I, ch I checked them out so for twelve dollars two lights and that bar I thought that was a great deal here are some uh, tool deals I gave the guy ten bucks for these items. Now, uh, 10 millimeters. I don't often see these in metric. It's a little thicker wall than I wish, but um, they're in good shape. They don't look like they were used much. When I was a kid, a friend of mine's father had this version in Snap-on. Obviously, everything was SAE back then. And we used to use these all the time. We love these, so I like that. Um, this looks like it's four quarter inch, three eighths inch. Really doesn't matter, but you see the um, deep and shallow. If I, I'm trying to figure out some way to arrange my tools so things work a little better, I figured I'd pick that up. Though this is missing a few pieces, it's got some of the bigger stuff you know, 26 and so forth. Um, they're 12 points. I don't really much care for that kind, but every once in a while you find some large bolt somewhere that you gotta get off and um, having the right set to do it works well. So once again, that was $10. I overpaid for this. Um, it's a nut driver, but it wasn't used. It looked to be a decent quality. I went $15. I know you could get them at Harbor Freight for less money, but I actually needed it for a task right then. So my choice was buy it from him and use it or leave the flea market, go to Harbor Freight, <laughs> buy a nut driver set and, you know, then go. So I just said, you know, I paid too much, once again, 15 But it seemed to be, you know, a little better quality, so... You know, sometimes you just got to go for it. Um, this here, I mean, it came as a set, Gilder. Um, that's a Mastercraft. Um, this is East Coast Made in America. What I was after was this little breaker bar. Once again, I had a task for it, and I, I happened to need it right away. Um, you know, the swivel, you know, the little Yankee and these guys. I think this is the right size to do the valve adjustments, you know, to, on, the, uh, on the Hondas. Anyway, I went $8 for this set, and considering 
I've paid, you know, that much for just one of these guys, you know, minus everything else. I thought, I thought it was a really great deal. So I was happy with that. So now for the dollar items. <laughs> Some things you buy because they're just am amusing, like this, this thing. Um, it, it talks... Right. I mean, I just, it's motion detector, so you can kind of set it up somewhere and have it go off and amuse everybody at a party. So, especially if alcohol is, is served, right, that could, that could always be a lot of fun. This is a light meter, bunch of um, Honda motor wrenches and some other stuff I normally lose. 10 millimeter, obviously, because that seems to be the one that falls into the great black hole and disappears. Um, you know, chisel, all this stuff less than a dollar. I don't know if anybody knew Murphy's. <laughs> um, this is a, a chuck. I have a project in mind for um, something that I'm going to use that for. Batteries, there's actually some missing. These were uh, six for five. Battery analyzer and alternator analyzer. Um, once again, the dollar range. Um, this is one of those um, lights that you plug into your, your USB and then bend it around and light up your keyboard just in case you, it's, you know, dusk and uh, you're too lazy to stand up and turn on the light. You can use this. Kind of sad, actually, now that I said it out loud. Um, this is a door latch, just handy to have about. A lot of times when I'm sorting, particularly if I'm uh, buying stuff from the uh, Amazon return person, you just kind of come up with this huge bag of stuff, including that, and uh, she gives you a good price. Normally I get these things from her. I don't know if anybody has an Apple phone. They um, Now you need a, kind of a special headphone gizmo for it. Well, this allows you to use any headphones, right? If you're using the wired version of the headphones, you know, I'm not quite sophisticated to go all that um, Bluetooth. This is a light meter. I just thought it was cool for a dollar. And that's why I buy a lot of this stuff. These guys are motorcycle taillights. And let me, let me just show you. I, I thought they were cool. The center of them does that. Oh, that's the outer ring. I guess that would be the brake light, and that would be the signal. So, I thought, once again, I like those. There are, I gave the Amazon woman 20 bucks, and I got all these lights and all these things and the candles and a bunch of stuff from her for that money. Um, these guys... There are also LED lights, Amazon Woman, but they actually project on the ground, right? You can see the lens on them, so you get a, a lot of light. The sockets, once again, less than a dollar each. It appears as if I'm having a shortage of 12 millimeters, and it appears as if the entire world is having a shortage of 12 millimeters. I can't seem to find 12 millimeter sockets anywhere for any reason, right? A ream. Um, ruler with all the little scales on it, um, you know, down to 30 seconds. Often just, just handy to get a quick measurement. You guys know I try to buy these whenever I see them. This little tape measurement was made by K&E, made in the United States. Um, hard to find these days, the quality and all, so I wanted that. This LED bulb turns itself on and off. When it gets dark, um, once again, Amazon lady, um, I believe this was the Amazon woman, the candlesticks, flicker candlesticks, Amazon. Um, the clock came from another dollar guy. These are, each one of these is an individual LED. There are 36 of them, I believe. So I, I just, the tree is ugly, but I thought the LED lights were worth the dollar. Right, the flasher I already spoke of, you know, a lot of this, once again, less than a dollar. Fan, less than a dollar. 
Okay, the last thing I bought were these seats. They, they kind of fold up like this, right? Um, says one. I gave them what, uh, the three of them. Yeah, I got the three of them for three dollars. So they were that one dollar each. Um, the two greens match, and I've been wanting to do put those something small, unlike this guy, something small and light on this guy. Um, I was kind of when I saw this, I thought it would match with the one I already owned, but as you can see here, it does not. It's got the red cushion, but the white on the side. I really wanted to go um, kind of red and black with the Jeep look. Red, white, and black would not be horrible because I think this thing is eventually going to have a white golf cart roof on it. So, anyway, projects, right? One project after the next. I hope, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed my uh, flea market odyssey. It's always interesting the kind of stuff I find. I was kind of rained out of um, Williams Grove. You know, at about 8, 8.30 in the morning, it started to rain. So, actually, even before that, probably about 7.30, it started to rain. So, I only, I had a little over an hour in. You know, a lot of people weren't there. There was a lot of walking around between empty booths, so to speak. So, um, that that was kind of dismal but obviously I spent more than enough money what was missing is the gar garage sailors really didn't come out you know the amateur garage sailors that just want to get rid of stuff like everywhere I looked everywhere I cruised I mean there were really no tractors no generators no lawnmowers no all-terrain vehicles mini bikes nothing gas powered um, nowhere in my travels for the weekend so there we are. I think on the end of this, I also went to a salvage yard, an auto salvage yard, my favorite. So um, I'll, I think I'll tack that video right on the end of this. I want to thank everybody for dropping by to watch and comment and subscribe. Please remember, feet down, heads up, and get out and enjoy each and every day. Bye now. Well, we're at one of my favorite places in New Oxford, Pennsylvania. Welcome back for another adventure. We're going to trade in this car battery for a, uh, another one. The, uh, there's a core charge, so by turning that in, the new battery will only cost me 15 bucks. He doesn't have a lot of batteries here. I'm trying to figure out if I should go with the door last. Or the uh, auto craft. Anyway, I'll make that decision in a second. So here's what he's selling off. First, starting with the tires, right? And he puts a couple of these vehicles up for sale. I guess the ones that aren't in too bad a shape, like this one here. I guess needs a head gasket. What is it? A Corolla, a Camry, something like that. Got the little Honda there for fifteen hundred. Does not run as is clean title. What's that? An Audi. Um, anyway, here's the kind of stuff he has for sale. From uh, these are things that people like would turn in for scrap. They also do scrap things. This thing has the high low on the uh, on the rear end. That's actually. The decks are also kind of hard to get. As you can see, tires are popular, right? People come and bag the tires. Well, anybody need a sled? Somebody got the carburetors already. Wards. I don't remember Montgomery Wards. These things are hard to get one's hot little hands on. And then, you know, the cars. We got enough salvage here. Crazy. And the toppers. So, 
that's about oh we found another sled this is about it for uh, for this adventure I gotta go grab a battery yeah sleds are interesting it seems that if you want to buy a whole sled this time of year you could get a good deal it seems that whenever you need parts for your sled there's no good deals to be had.